I am pissed. They fucked up my race. I can't do this anymore. I am done. Last weekend was the home Grand Prix for Max Verstappen, but for a moment it looked like Lewis Hamilton was going to grab the win right before the Dutch fans. But unfortunately for Lewis, the Dutch GP took a different turn. Why was Lewis Hamilton so furious? How did Toto Wolff handle the situation? Let's dive in and find out more. Hey viewers, welcome back to Racing Insights. In today's video, we are going to talk about why Lewis Hamilton is furious at Toto Wolff after Mercedes ruined the Dutch GP. Lewis Hamilton is a Formula One racing driver from the UK who has won the World Championship five times, making him the most successful British driver of all time. At the 1995 Autosports Awards ceremony, Lewis approached McLaren team principal Ron Dennis and told him, I want to race for you one day. Less than three years later, he was signed by McLaren and Mercedes-Benz to their young driver support program. Hamilton moved to Mercedes after four more seasons with McLaren, where he won six more titles in 2014, 2015, and from 2017 to 2020. Hamilton raced alongside defending double world champion Fernando Alonso, who had joined McLaren after leaving Renault in his first season in Formula One. He finished third in his debut at the Australian Grand Prix becoming the 13th driver to do so on his debut. Nicky Lauda, the triple world champion, praised Hamilton as the best rookie he had ever seen. In his two races in Bahrain and Barcelona, Hamilton finished second behind Felipe Massa to take the lead in the Drivers' Championship, becoming the youngest driver ever to do so. Lewis Hamilton was furious with his team following a disastrous finish to his race at the Dutch Grand Prix. Throughout the race, the Brit displayed impressive pace and appeared to be the main rival to home favorite Max Verstappen. Because of the speed of his Mercedes, he appeared to be the favorite to win his first race of 2022 at one point. However, a couple of decisions made late in the safety car period changed everything. Hamilton was leading the race when Verstappen was pulled in for soft tires, but the second safety car brought them all together. To make matters worse, the seven-time world champion lost the buffer he had against the Red Bull star in the form of teammate George Russell. The younger Brit asked to pit, and the team agreed so that he could finish on soft tires. Verstappen, on the other hand, was right on Hamilton's tail for the restart, and his fresher tires helped him roar past before they even reached the first corner. That made the Brit unhappy, and he was even more upset when Russell overtook him as well as Charles Leclerc, robbing him of the final podium spot. Toto Wolff went on the radio to try to calm things down, telling Hamilton, sorry it didn't work out, but what we discussed in the morning, we took a chance and it didn't pay out. Let's talk about it in the office. With Max Verstappen winning four races in a row now, Max is a massive 109 points ahead of Charles Leclerc. Mercedes may be out of contention for the championship, but the Silver Arrows, particularly Lewis Hamilton, have enjoyed a resurgence in recent races providing an exciting subplot for the second half of the season. Russell had outscored his seven-time champion teammate seven times in eight races prior to the Canadian Grand Prix, giving him a 37-point lead. At the time, it appeared as if Hamilton would be annihilated by his rookie teammate, as questions about his motivation for F1 continued to be raised. The low point came in Spain, when Hamilton demanded that engineers retire the car after an incident on lap one. However, the pendulum has begun to swing back to Hamilton after he secured three consecutive podiums and he almost appears to be back to his best. Nobody expected George Russell to beat Hamilton from the start, but the former Williams driver has proven to be a formidable opponent in the Mercedes. Despite the German manufacturer's problems, Russell has three podiums this season and is currently leading Hamilton in the standings. However, a tire gamble in Canada backfired and contact with Sergio Perez in Austria may have cost him two more podiums and the opportunity to extend his Mercedes lead. After a commanding start to the 2022 season, Max Verstappen has been faultless. The Dutchman has six victories from 11 races and credits his lack of podium finishes to bad luck. Two mechanical failures cost him nearly certain second-place finishes in Bahrain and Australia. Meanwhile, red flags in qualifying at Monaco denied him a shot at pole and the reigning champion appeared to be on his way to victory at Silverstone until debris damaged his floor. Toto Wolff has revealed what he discussed with a clearly irritated and disappointed Lewis Hamilton following the Dutch Grand Prix. With Mercedes opting for a one-stop strategy, Hamilton appeared to be the heavy favorite to win his first race of the season. Red Bull and Ferrari chose a two-stop strategy 
because they believed it would be the best way to navigate the tricky Zandvoort circuit. However, it quickly became clear that the hard tire would perform best over a long stint, and both Hamilton and George Russell began picking off their rivals who were pitting for the second time. Only Verstappen was left to pit for a second time, but Yuki Tsunoda's drama aided the Dutchman before the Alpha Tori pulled to the side of the track and a virtual safety car was deployed. That was Hamilton's first misfortune, as Verstappen was given a free pit stop to come in for fresh hards and stay ahead of the Brit. Then, Valtteri Bottas came to a halt on the pit straight, prompting the deployment of a full safety car. Red Bull brought Verstappen back in for softs, but Mercedes left both Hamilton and Russell out to take the lead. Is this going to be his last season? Lewis Hamilton has stated that he may race beyond 2023 and that he is still on the mission in Formula One. Hamilton's contract with Mercedes expires next year, and he currently sits sixth in the championship standings, 112 points behind leader Max Verstappen. There has been speculation that the seven-time world champion will retire when his Mercedes contract expires, but Hamilton admitted in an interview with Vanity Fair that he had considered staying in F1 longer. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered extending, Hamilton admitted. I'm still on the mission, I'm still enjoying driving, and it's still challenging, so I don't feel compelled to give it up anytime soon. Hamilton also addressed last season's controversial finale, in which Verstappen beat Hamilton to the title due to race director Michael Mazzi's decision to allow only the cars between the two contenders to unlap themselves after a safety car was deployed. You see things start to unfold, and my worst nightmares came true, Hamilton explained. I thought to myself, there's no way they're going to cheat me out of this. There isn't a chance. That will not happen, certainly not. I'm not sure if I can really put into words how I felt. I recall just sitting there in disbelief and realize I need to undo my belts, get out of there, climb out of this thing and find the strength to do so. I was completely exhausted, and it was one of the most difficult experiences I've had in a long time. I was aware of what had occurred. I knew what decisions had been made and why they had been made. Yes, I was aware that something was amiss. Lewis Hamilton will start from the back of the grid in this weekend's Italian Grand Prix after Mercedes confirmed his car would be fitted with a new power unit that will incur a grid penalty. In Italy, Hamilton will use his fourth power unit of the season, exceeding his quota for several engine components this year. Mercedes was forced to accept the new power unit because it is still determining which components of the engine he used at Spa Francorchamps. His third power unit can be salvaged after his retirement from that race. Hamilton's third power unit was damaged after his car was lifted into the air following a collision with Fernando Alonso during the Belgian Grand Prix. We will be fitting PU number no. 4 for Lewis this weekend, a Mercedes spokesperson said. This is due to the fact that while we are still working on the recovery plan for PU number no. 3 that was damaged in Spa, that unit will not be able to run this weekend. This will result in grid penalties because it exceeds the allocation for the season. To save money, teams are limited to using a certain number of power unit components on each car. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. Will this be his final season? What's your opinion? Please let us know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.